Hello. Hey there. That was some good work. Y same to you, Captain. Knew the wasteland would be dangerous, but this is more than I expected. I'm heading back to the vault. Want to join me? I thought you'd never ask. All right. Lead the way. I knew it'd be uh, bad, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> General Ward, now I remember. Oh, yes, there's a thousand comments about General Ward. It's all coming back to me, everyone. Hey, you, you found the coats. <clears throat> My terminal's lit up, so whatever you did, it worked. It's not all good news, though. There's been no responses from command. And without them, we're in the dark as far as the bigger picture goes. We are, however, aware of the location of an old military hangar. The probability of a vertebrate within is high. If it's operational, we'll be able to use it to get to command. While Captain Peterson debriefs us, I need you to investigate. Sir, yes, sir. What's the mission? Get to the vertebrate facility, scout the area, and confirm whether there is still a vertebrate within. I'll do it. Good. Scout the hangar and return here with your findings. Hell yeah. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Little vertebrate flying. Uh, <clears throat> appreciate the help. I'm Lieutenant Fitzpatrick, by the way. Oh, well, hey, Fitzpatrick. How you doing? What's your story? Look, I'm still just trying to process everything. Maybe we can chat about that some other time. Oh, yeah, sure, man. You know, Peterson's a maniac. We killed like a dozen or so people. He was fine. What do you do here? Right now, just trying to keep everyone in here safe. My flying's better than my shooting, but I'll do what I can. I guess at the same time, though, I was there, so I did, you know, some of the killing as well. But still, what about you? Sorry. How are things going? Not great, to be honest with you. I can't wrap my head around the fact that 200 years have passed. Well, my family's gone, my friends are gone. Everything's gone. Just trying to keep focused on the here and now, you know? Hmm. Yeah, be present. Well, uh, I hope you're okay with blood. Never mind, actually. Got it. I'll see you around. Doing great work. I th I th I'm, uh... I think I, I definitely go in the wrong way. I just came from here, didn't I? Hey, Miss Sin. Fitzpatrick, I'm, uh, I'm all discombobulated. I apologize. Vertebrate refueling facility. Awesome. Yeah, I don't recall how we got to these locations previously, but I do like the exteriors and all this, all these interiors as well. Search for the vertebrate. And the the uh, the OG version, the videos we did, was 2017. So five years ago, but it sound it, it feels like a thousand years. Well, maybe mm. not ten, five. It feels like ten instead of five. Disregard the jingles if you hear any. There are elves in my home. Oh my god! And I'm getting there, sir. This. Shoot the gun game. It's like a simulated jam. If I'm getting jammed, I want some animations, though. Gotta fix up my hat. Hybrid weave. Who's there? Just a second, I'm doing my laundry. Oh. About time you got here, god lady. Alright. I'll give you a fair fight. Jameson. But it's fair. It's as fair as you, uh, you'll get me. She's mutated. She's rethought her life decisions. She's covered in mustard gas. But not the one that hurts you. It's, it's just stinky mustard gas. Which is, isn't a bad thing. I love mustard. Love honey mustard. Improve Vat's hit chance. That's kind of... I wanted to, I wanted it to uh, shoot explosions. That would have helped. 
This door is locked. All right, we didn't look at any of this. I need Peterson with me. All right, there's gotta be... Cam in here, shooty, shooty, shooty. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Spooky down here. Also, I do have a shield mod on. So that's why everyone has a... <laughs> a blue smurf outline. Apparently, shields are super easy. For raiders and uh, such to get. I'm cool with that. Technically, if all the mods that I've played canonically in the main lore of Alchest Breach were true. There would be so many weird and wacky like god weapons just laying around. Come on, punk. Oh, you, you better mean that, nerd. Oh, I killed America. I'm sorry. Wow, that's a lot of... Eliminate the remaining gunners, all right. The circus of devoid... Kindly picked. Nice. Thank God. All right. Turning on the turrets. I guess they're on my side, maybe not. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I don't know. I feel like the turrets were decimated Take instantly. Where are these hobos? I mean, I know where they are, but as soon as I stick my head out, Commander Jerkenstein's gonna come out. Hey, Nathan. Fucking nerd. Why? What do you have, a razor? Oh. Oh my god. Good job leading the charge. Got your blood type. Oh. Oh. Good try. Should, I should take a shield. Wow. Oh, there's the vertebrate. I probably shouldn't have thrown. Strong ass gun. Oh my god. It's a Gauss gun. Alright, just giving me headshots. Actually, let's see. Ooh. I want to try a grenade. We got this team. Oh. oh, hey. Hey. One more hussy before I can piss in my new vertebrate. Oh, Grandpa. <laughs> Sorry, that's uh, one of the weird mods of the week. It's called tricking you with editing. Yo, is this nerd just relaxing? Oh, this is like James Bond, like a James Bond intro. Turn to General Ward. Tell him you've got the blade fist. Yo, you know, God, God bless you, ma'am. You died like a like a hero. Do the uh, the the Klingon scream. 
to announce that a warrior is heading to purgatory. Hey, I know, I know this area. Back to General Ward. So this elevator is really nice because it, it separates, I feel, enough of like the level where it seems like you've traveled far, but you don't have to like walk through a huge maze every time you, uh, you know, have to come back. I will be uh, getting lost in the next five minutes, though, so. Okay, never mind. Have you been to the hangar yet? Was the vertebrate there? Oh, there is a vertebrate, let me tell you. Need to ask you something. I need to ask you something. What do you need to know? What's your story? You know what, General Ward? We do. It's high time you told your story. What's your story? I'm not interested in sharing personal information with you. What I'll say is that I am a general of the United States Army. I've served with distinction in various theaters of war, and I was due to take on the Gobi military campaign before the bombs drop. What's your plan? What's your plan exactly? For now, we just need to get to command. Keep helping us, and we'll gladly tell you more. That's all. Never mind. I trust you. Yes, sir. Good work. We'll head for the hangar now and plan our next move from there. Would you like to travel with us? I would. I would love to. Let's go. Come on, Vamanos. It's time to f go. Talk to General Ward at your birthday party. This is a high fighty birthday party you've got. You're here. Good. All things considered, this facility is in better shape than expected. Lieutenant Fitzpatrick is performing some pre flight checks. F yeah. He says it'll be ready tomorrow. Come back then, and if you need some time to rest, you may use the barracks in this facility. Dismissed. Sorry, General. I was just very, very excited. You know, I do have... You know, I feel embarrassed. I haven't told them about Jake and the whole, you know, re resetting civilization, but I did tell them it was horrible when, they, when I woke him up, so it's kind of on me. Wait a day's time for the vertebrate to be prepared for flight. All right. How you doing, Peterson? Hey, we're all here. Nice work clearing this place out. Hey, no problem, man. How are things going? Not bad, all things considered. We've made it here in one piece, and we should be en route to command soon. Your duty. What do you do here? Well, I was part of General Ward and Dr. Kane's security detail. I'll keep protecting them from all possible hostiles until we've reached safety. Even ghosts? What's your story? I come from a military family. Army, Navy, Air Force, we've been part of it all. Serving a country is the highest honor, after all. I wanted to serve in the Army. As soon as I was out of college, I signed up with the Army ROTC and worked my way up. I've served with General Chase in Alaska, and was going to serve in Gobi with General Ward. Wow. Army's all I know, and I intend on honoring my family's memory in my continued service. Damn right, Peterson. I gotta go. Understood. I really have to use the bathroom. All right, I, uh, we were gonna chill out. Am I going the wrong way? Gen General, are you going out for a the smoke break? <laughs> I'll wait a day, I have a sleeping bag. I'm gonna find a spooky place, fall asleep, and I'm gonna have some gnarly nightmares. I've got some NyQuil with disease, boots with the fur. Oh, I can sleep in the vertebrate. It'll be like Titanic. Oh. Fitzpatrick. Hey there. You know, this vertebrate's in pretty good shape. I should have her airworthy in a few hours. Beautiful. How are things going? Just trying to take things one day at a time right now. Just things where everything's pretty difficult, but I'm trying to keep focused. What's your story? There's not much to tell. Tell I was it. born down in San Jose. I didn't get on great with my parents, but my sisters were good to me. I wanted to get away from home, so as soon as I turned 18, I enlisted with the Air Force, trained as a pilot, and was assigned here in Massachusetts. I was scheduled to fly General Ward and Dr. Kane to their destinations, but then the bombs, well, you know. Wait, what? What, what happened with the bombs? 
What do you do here? Right now, just trying to keep everyone in here safe. My flying's better than my shooting, but I'll do what I can. Never mind, actually. You know where to find me. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna fall asleep. Oh, hi. Everyone's here. <clears throat> I suppose I ought to be grateful we made it here in one piece. But the state of this place... I'll be glad to see the back of it. What's your story? What's your story? This is hardly the time for small talk, don't you think? Tell me your story. Tell me more about this vault. How did you end up in there? I suppose there's no harm in telling you now. I imagine by now you know that the Vault 111 you found yourself in was actually a research project. You were test subjects. What? This wing of the vault, however, was different. It was intended to provide short-term protection to government officials. Since myself, the General, and our entourage were in the area when the bombs were en route, we were rushed here. A fascinating use of cryogenic preservation. In theory, we waste no time of our lives simply waiting for radiation levels to drop. How are things going? I'm alright, I suppose. I am eager to reach command so I can resume my work. Cool. Never mind. All right. What's that hobo man doing? I'll be over here. It's my spot. Uh, yeah, that guy that woke us up is sleeping in the corner. I I, I don't know if he's defecating, but uh, yeah, he's he's cooking something. I uh, I, I don't. Yeah, it's, it's it smells like bug. With the vertebrate airworthy, we're ready to proceed with the next part of our plan. Reaching command. You've helped us get this far, and I would appreciate your continued assistance. We don't know what the situation at command may be. I would strongly suggest equipping yourself, well, to cover any eventualities. Tell me about my role in this. Upon arrival, you are to assist Captain Peterson and myself in investigating the facility. You've proven yourself useful so far. Continue to do so, and we'll ensure you are appropriately rewarded gonna get a uniform. Why do we need this place again? Our attempts to make contact with the base have been futile, so we have to assume the worst. We also can't afford to abandon it. We're under-equipped and sitting ducks out here. Our only option is taking the vertebrate and assessing the situation at base. Yes, sir. I'm ready. Good. Captain Peterson and I will be equipping some suits of the T-51 power armor we found stored here as a precaution. Time to go. Get in the gunner's position. We've got to be ready for anything. Connecting to elevator. Sending command. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fitzpatrick, you got any, uh, got any music? Oh, the doctor's there. Oh, nice. Ignition. Here we go. Oil levels, nominal. Hydraulics, nominal. Better get comfortable. ETA is three hours. Oh god, I slept Remember, for- Remember, when we land, Fitzpatrick stays with Dr. Kane. The rest of us will investigate command. Yes, yes sir. sir. There it is. Command. Fitzpatrick, can you hail them? Yes, sir. Command, this is Victor Bravo 3504. Do you copy, over. Again! Command, this is Victor Bravo 3504. Do you copy? Over. I don't like this. I can't make out any activity from here. Lieutenant, before we land, I want you to circle the oil rig. Let's get eyes on the situation. Yes, sir. ETA, 30 seconds. Oh. You got sharp eyes, I see nothing.
Oh no. No, yeah, I see the corpses. So these are ghouls, guys. They're irradiated. And they're reanimated corpses. Or actually, no, that's not what they are. But anyhow. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Someone help me over here. There's a baby. What the Enclave's gotta do what the Enclave's gotta do. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, guys. Guess some people brought their families here. This, uh, the textures, this is beautiful. Really loving all of the uh, oil rig stuff. Whoa. Oh yeah. All right, come on. It's locked. Graduation time. Watch out, more of them. Come on. Watch out. Grandma. Oh, she fainted. Hey. Oh nope. Oh god. Come on. Yeah. So I do have a. Uh, a more ghouls mod on. If it wasn't apparent. Hold it right there. Identify yourselves immediately before I open fire. This is a restricted area. What? The General Russell Ward, United States Army. Just what the hell is going on here? General, we need to talk. There's hostels all around, and most doors are jammed. You need to go left and make your way up the catwalks. The door behind me still works. It'll bring you to the war room. Meet me in there. It's the safest place on the oil rig. Understood. Let's move out. Hmm. Ah, no. Whoa. Calm down, doggo. We're cool. Your F 
RPD experiments here. Sir, you're gonna have to leave. You have neither a shirt or shoes on. These guys are creepy. I don't know, man. It was coming at us. <gasps> oh, I need an enclave suit. Too many human arms on me. Um. All right. I know she said go to the left, but uh, I don't know where she said that. Oh, nice. Get in there. 